Hey. 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 Welcome back to the A. S. Clem. R. YouTube channel. Now, in today's video, we are going to be looking at the Ligue 1, the French League kits for the 2022-23 season. Now, this is the last in the line of the big five leagues, five or six leagues. Um, the only other ones we will be doing are the Championship and the Scottish Premiership. Whatever it's called nowadays, Cinch Premiership, I don't know. Oh, I've got one sweet left from my last video. Hey. Or, not last, depending on when you see this. Might be tomorrow's video. Um, I've got my cup. Now, today has been about 29 degrees in the UK. We are set for yet another heat wave, so if you're viewing this from the UK, let me know how you're holding up in this heat. And that is Celsius. Um, for those that aren't from the UK, um, bear with me. In fact, I'll keep that out because it will stay quite cold. Um, for those that aren't from the UK, 29 degrees Celsius might not even be that hot. Um, It is in 84 Fahrenheit. So again, it might not seem that hot to you, but for the majority of the countries where this is like a normal standard, you all have air conditioning. 80% of the UK doesn't have air conditioning. The only places you're gonna find air conditioning is at a supermarket or in an office space if they've built in the AC. I think that genuinely might be the only places you'll find air conditioning in the UK is in a shop where, I don't know, Asda, Tesco, Farm Foods, wherever. Um, pubs won't have AC. But yeah. So at the minute, everywhere's getting warm and it's heating up. It isn't going to be as hot as the other week, but it's going to be up there. Anyway, without further ado, let's look at the league and kits. So we're gonna go like this. Let's make me a little bit smaller. Let's go full screen. I'm not gonna go into this completely blind. Let's take a look. So a Jacho, is it a Jacho or a Yacho? A Yach a Yacio, a Jacio. I'm gonna go a Jacio. Um very nice kit indeed. I actually really do like this. A red and white stripe fits obviously the the, the theme of the club. Uh, red Adidas logo. I'm a big fan of. I don't like all these sponsors going on, especially in the blue. I think it sort of ruins the kit. But it doesn't have a big sponsor. Um, it's okay. It's okay. It's not incredible, I don't think. But it's okay. Um, I'm going to give it a six out of ten. I kind of like the red and the white together. I think red and white does go well together. This nice long collar looks kind of cool, um, but yeah, not not a big fan of no sponsor there. But having the sponsors up here, if there was none at all, I think it looked clean. But the fact they have some above both of the logos and crest is a bit weird, and it's in blue and it doesn't really fit the kit. Um, they're a way kit. Oh, I'm a fan of this. I like this. Um, a nice like aqua blue sort of light blue. Um, I would have liked them to have changed their badge hasn't happened again the uh, the sponsors are above the logo and the crest as well as on the arm but they have changed it to fit the kit which i'm a fan of i don't mind it if it fits the kit and it looks nice um i'm gonna give it a seven out of ten it's still not incredible don't get me wrong but uh, the graphics nice just nice and simple nice added desktop almost looks a little bit like a training top but a nice version of that and their third kit wow i like that a lot actually i like that a lot and then looking at the kit. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, but no, yeah, I do like the kit. Um, the gold stripes, gold and black always work. You've got a hint of purple in there. And for once, 
I'm actually a big fan of them not changing the colour of the badge because it really makes it stand out and that's the whole point in having your badge is for it to stand out and stand proud and I like it. Um, yeah, big fan of that. I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. Better than the other two. Looking at Angers, the Newcastle of the French League as far as I can remember. Um, a very nice kit. Really, really clean this is. Um, easy colour, shoulders are fine. The graphic, this stripe across graphic, carries on onto the shoulders and suits the like, direction. It flows quite well. Like these are all in line there. This one, it does come down, looks like it's lined up. Absolutely pristine. I like that. I'm going to give it an extra point for that. Um, the actual design itself is really nice. You've got a big like V shape with these chevrons, got not chevrons, uh, stripes coming up. And you know what? It's an actual kit. <laughs> oh, I'm in a mood today. I'm in a funny mood. Um, the it suits the badge, and you know what? It actually is quite satisfying how that would fit like that. Bang, bang. I mean, that's why they've done it. You guys can see this. Sorry, it's not. It's going to be a little bit pixelated, I think, just because of how I've set the, uh, the Photoshop thing up. What would have been good is if... Well, it's not quite the same fit. Oh, there we go. Imagine... Shut up, I don't want to blur it. Uh, we'll go here, we'll go like... Imagine that, not 30%, obviously, maybe like a 10%, maybe even less than 10%, maybe like a 5%. And then you went, brightness, no, uh, hue saturation, you went no saturation. Oh, look how nice that'd be. That'd look like such a better kit in my eyes. Like, let me know what you think, obviously, but. Let me know what you think. I just think that would be so nice. Imagine if all kits did that, or they did like a special limited edition kit. I think it looks pain. Anyway, uh, don't say that. Let's go back. Um, moving on. I'm going to give it an 8. Now I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. For saying it's a black and white kit, and they can be very basic, they've done that extremely well. Extremely well. And it's fresh, clean, easy. And you know what? Ooh. That's another 9 out of 10. The white and the gold is... The way that the badge looks like it's gone... And just sat there. And left this trail blazing behind. If the black and the gold is nice. The logo is questionable, don't get me wrong. But I do like the little like French flag underneath. I think it adds to it. If it wasn't there, that would be a 10 out of 10. That'd be an easy 10 out of 10 if that wasn't there. But it is there, so I've got to knock it down a point. That's 9 out of 10 for me. Ah, oh, see, so that's a dub. Please have an incredible third kit and just be the best set of kits this year. They don't. That's the best set of kits this year, so far. That away kit is naughty as well. Looking at, and I always want to say it's all there. I'm going to go with all there. I'm not going to change my mind. Very basic, but it's done eloquently you know your dark blues nice you've got your, your collar and your cuffs white shirt you've got your blue to match the uh, the logo on you whatever that is who makes it again macron um and then it matches the, uh, the the sponsorships which is fair enough you can't really ask for more than that can you i've got a really itchy face i've had a shave my face is itchy because it's like i've had a shave but then this is making it itchy even more because it's um, I'm giving that a 6 out of 10. I mean, it's done right, but there's not much more done, if that makes sense. It's not better than white. It's better than white. It's not better than 6 out of 10. It's done alright. Oh, uh, That just does not look... Look how they've cut the guy's face out, whoever that is. Um, yeah, not a fan of that, actually. Not a fan of that at all. The black and blue, I don't know what's going on here. Academia. I mean, it's an okay sponsorship. It's nice and easy. Lettering's always a good sponsorship to have because it's nice and easy to get right. But the blue and the white stripes just look very odd on a black kit. I'm going to give it a 4 out of 10. A 4 out of 10. The collar's nice and the buttons seem a little bit long. That almost drops down to like here. You guys can't see. But, um, yeah. 
That's a bit weird. Not my favourite of the chicken breast. Um, I like it. The pattern's nice. The colour's nice. The red and the white go well together. However, I'm going to knock a point off for every sponsorship. It has passed what I think is normal. So we'll allow this. Because that's a normal sponsorship. You've got your thing. So that's one, two, three, four, five... We're knocking five points off, but I'll only knock four off because I don't know whether that's a sponsorship or not. If it is, I'm knocking a point off. If it's not, it looks very nice for the kit. I think having just a little bit down here for the kit looks good. So that's one, two, three, four points knocked off. And, I mean, it is all there, probably a nine and a half out of ten. So this gets a five and a half out of ten. I mean, it's too much, far too much. The kit's nice, the colour's nice, the combo works well. The badge and the logo and the sponsorship logo look good. This down here would be a nice touch. I mean, I, I'm assuming it's an ode to it being like a like a port. I'm only guessing. Um, I could be wrong with that. That could be a sponsorship. If it is, then that's fault. Anyway, moving on. Oh, wait. Again, white and gold seem to be in. And it looks very, very nice and very eloquent. However, they seem to have fucked it. This badge and the logo and the kit look very, very nice. That sponsorship is too big. It is outrageously big. If this just said Brizzy Cola, I think that would be the best kit on the, like, the lot. White and gold together, Adidas breast, but it's Cola. And then this this is exactly the same, so I'm assuming that's meant to be there. That, that can stay. Not a, a nine and a half out of ten yet again. One, two, three, four knocked off. It's a four and a half. Four and a half. Too many. Too many sponsors. Again, another great third kit. Black and white always do well, but it's black and more of a black, grey and white. Nice, nice. Again, I'd prefer the Brizzy Cola or even Goya Entertainment. Guyo. Or even if you'll notice, one of them, not this fucking massive one that looks like it says yogurt Malone. Uh, so that's, I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. 1, 2, 3, 4. It's going to get a 4 out of 10. Moving on to Clermont Foot. There's not really much to go off here. Other than like a cutout image, I suppose. However, I kind of like it. The red, and I'm assuming that goes from like a dark red to an orange or a dark red to a pink um, I can't quite tell so we're going to go from red to orange I'm just going to guess um, again far too much going on in terms of sponsorships one two three points knocked off because only one of these should be there and if anything I'd go with a Clermont Foran because at least you've got your, your club name in it um, one two yeah I'm allowing one on the arm so one Two, three, four points deducted off a kit that could be. I mean, I like the colour scheme if it is a red to orange or if it's a red to pink. I like it either way. Um, this stripe design, very, very nice. Having the two tones, sort of blues and pinks or blues and reds, whatever it's going to be. Um, so at the end of the day, that's a, that's an 8.5 out of 10 minus the 1, 2, 3, 4. It's a 4.5 out of 10, I'm afraid. Um, yeah, just too much going on. Too much going on. Away kit is a nice light blue to dark blue with dark blue sleeves and the, the touch of red added on. Very nice. Oh, this looks a bit more like a cricket top, like a like a cricket training top, not like a cricket white outfit. But I've seen a few people train in these sort of kits before. And at the end of the day, it is nice. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. There's not really too much to say. There's like a stripe gradient, I believe. Could just be the picture. Um, but that's 1, 2, Three points taken off a seven point five, so again a four point five out of ten. Four point five out of ten. Their third kit actually very very nice, a very light grey with with odes to the what I'm assuming is the city or town or whatever. At uh, the region, um, the nice little gradient there, not gradient, the nice little pattern. I'm gonna go pattern there, and on the sleeves, I'm gonna give it a seven out of ten. Because I think the grey is a little bit too light. If it was a bit darker, I think it would look good. Minus one, two, three. 
uh, which gives it a 4 out of 10. 4 out of 10 in total. Moving on to Estac Troyes. Now, it's, it's been made by Lecoq Sportif, which, for whatever reason, still think they're in the 1980s. Because that nylon-looking pattern is a fucking vile. It's, it doesn't look nice. It looks so tacky and cheap. It's unbelievable. It's got Fleshlight, or Festilite, sorry, Noralem, Meloron backwards, whatever that's, yeah. Um, I'm going to give it a 5 for the kit. If it, if it was branded as a retro kit, I'd be like, fair play, but it isn't. Introducing a classic, there's nothing classy about that. It looked like Del Boy sold it, yeah. Or you picked it out of the, uh, what do you call it? Lost, lost property. Like a spare, spare PE kit. Um, yeah, it's a bit strange, I think. Um, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10, minus 1 for having too many of these sponsors on the front. It's going to be like a... I don't, I, what did I just rate it? I can't remember what I just said. Okay, I'm going to give it a 4 minus 1. That's 3. A 3 out of 10. Worst one so far. The away kit, again, looks very tacky. Um... It's white, so I can't quite tell whether it's like that same nylon-y pattern. But what I can tell, and I'm not sure if you can, these shoulders and the, the shoulders and sleeves are white. This is more of a cream colour, like a silvery cream. And then... Yeah, it's, I don't like the collar. The collar seems way too basic for me. It's getting a 6 out of 10 minus 1. It gives it a 5 out of 10. Like it, the colour scheme at least works. Fuck that off. That's the wrong colour. But yeah. Uh, moving on to Lille. Lille famously with some nice kits over the years. The one where they had the uh, the stripes go around the badge. I was a big fan of. Um, but this one from New Balance, I'm not the biggest fan of. It looks far too basic and far too like a primary school kid has designed it. They've gone design a kit, mate. And he's gone, okay, I've got kind of a red crayon. That's all red. Okay, but you can't just have all red. Okay, give me a blue one. Okay, that's a nice thick line. We've got a white one here for it. Nice. Um, I'm giving it a 7 out of 10, though, because the colour scheme works, and it's it's nice. There's nothing bad about it. It just seems very, very basic. The sleeves look good, and the kazoo logo works. It really does blend in with the kit very nicely. But, yeah, I'm going to go with that. 7 out of 10. The away kit again looks quite basic, but actually, I'm a fan of that one. Um, from the Nobu to the Fleur de Lis. The graphic on the jersey. What graphic? Oh, I can see it. I can just about see it. Jeez. Okay, so it's got a graphic down this side. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I'm going to give that a 9, 8.5 out of 10. 8.5. 9 out of 10. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Really fresh. It looks really, really nice. If I was bought this, I'd love it. So, uh, yeah, the kazoo logo works as well because it goes in with the colour that's around the collar. And then you've got the nice two-tone sort of blue and coral sort of colour. Almost like a pink-orange sort of colour going on there. I'm a big fan. And the third kit, again, I like this. That's nice. Is that green? Oh, it's black with gold accents, so it is black. Very, very nice. I like this sort of gradient, like, you can see it up here, but it sort of, like, disappears through here. I like that a lot. The gold works for New Balance. The, the badge, everything matches, and then you've got this. Is it a dog? I don't know if it's a dog on the badge or what it's meant to be. But you've got the gold rendition of this outline here. And that's what fades. And it's so nice. That is very, very nice. I'm giving that a 9 out of 10 as well. Top, top marks for Lille yet again. It's just the home kit I'm not a fan of. Because it's a little bit boring. I think they can do better. Moving on to Lorien. Big orange kits. I like it. Uh, orange. It's like, it's, like a, it's like orange kit with then a blue and orange checker on it. And not like blue to orange to blue to orange. It's like... Blue and orange to orange, blue and orange to orange. Very strange, but I like it. And actually, I did it again. Shoot me. Um, 
done correctly, I think, in my opinion, for the colour scheme. I'm not going to hate... I don't particularly like orange kits. I've got one myself, and it's done correctly. It's a nice orange. That is like a... That's like a retro-looking orange. But I'm not going to hate on them because that's the colour of the club. I can't take points away for, for, for tradition. So, that being said, I think I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Um, oh, finally, an Umbro kit done correctly. The colour looks good. The sleeves look okay. The, the pattern carries on onto the sleeves. The uh, the sponsorship's in the right place. Very, very happy. Jean Floch. I'm a big fan of this kit that's been created. Very nice. And their away kit, again, I kind of like it. Looks like a very solid kit. Don't like the collar on that one. Is it on this one? No, that's normal. The collar just it gets cut off and I don't like it. It seems very strange. The gradient, the sort of mountainous, sort of rocky pattern that's on there I'm liking. It's not a gradient at all, it's a pattern like. Um, but black and grey work. I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10 though, just because it is a bit basic. But it's done correctly at the very least. And I give it props for that. And their third kit. You know what? You know what? All graphic patterns is about by the beach and the sand crystals. I don't hate it. Is that weird? I don't hate it. Props to them for going for something outrageous, right? You don't see kits like this. And this is one way you think, once you've released it, are people going to like it? Whether they do or don't, it's got a retro feel to it. It's an Umbro kit. It's got green and orange together, which shouldn't be together. On a cream background, which looks like the vinyl floor in your nan's house, or at least like upstairs in your walk-in shower. And I like it. I'd like that in my collection. Do you know what I mean? I'm a fan. I'm giving it a 9 out of 10. I am. I'm giving it a 9 out of 10. I love it. I love it. It's just so, so far out there that you can't... You can't... You can't judge it on gen, like normal means. It's a third kit. They're rarely going to wear it. But when they do, best believe you're going to notice it. I bet it looks wicked on them as well. Right, let's go. Who's this? Um, Lorient. Why have I given him two L's? Can you buy it? There you go, look at that neat original shit. People are loving it. Where can I buy it? Umbra. Can you buy it? Can you not buy it yet? Flipping it. There you are. FC Laurent. There you go. Third kit. Yep. Medium. Quantity one. Whatever that means. Let's have a player on it. Who do I recognise? None of them. Being isn't. That's is my favourite number. Jesus. 104 euro for that. I'm going to probably pay them out the same. Anyway, we need to move on. Um, what was I actually going to look at? I can't remember. Oh, yeah, what it looks like on a person. They haven't got any of their images. I like it. I like it. It gets 9 out of 10. The only one mark it's lost is because it has an extra sponsor on it that shouldn't be there. Uh, Leon. Like it. I like it a lot. I think I've seen pictures of Lacazette in this, so I can't really take it as a... I've, oh, I've never seen this before. Because I think I have seen this one. I think I might have seen the PSG one as well. But I could be wrong. I might be 
glossy as nothing can offer. Um, the blue and the red here look very, very nice. You've got like a diamond arrow. Works kind of well. Obviously, Leon tend to have really nice kits, and this blue and red contrast that they've got going on is very nice. You tend to have like gold accents on like an away kit. Um, but this is a home kit, so I, I prefer the stripes to carry on down the sleeve, so it knocks a point off. I'm giving that a solid 8 out of 10. It's very, very clean, very, very easy on the eye. Simply done, simply designed. I'm happy. The away kit, they've gone out there for this one. That's a 6 out of 10 in my eyes. It's not done correctly. They've gone bold and it's not paid off. They've gone bright red and like a grey smoke pattern. Again, the white stripes don't carry on. Doesn't really feel like an away kit, nor does it feel like an Olympic Leon kit. And it feels like the Padger has just been slapped on there. So for them, four reasons, it's a 6 out of 10. It does actually look quite nice on the players, though. And the third kit, the black and purple, they've gone very Real Madrid with this, haven't they? Like, like a traditional kit, done correctly outlandish away kit that's just too bright and nothing to do with the cards and then a purple kit which tends to do well um purple and black work well that works well the extra chevrons with this weird like up oh, chevron pattern down thick chevrons and then this like black to purple black to purple black to purple black to purple sort of thing that we've got going on is is nice i'm giving that a seven and a half out of ten and they've got a fourth kit, there you go, there's the gold accents that have come in, not a fan of this there's a fourth kit that shouldn't even exist that looks nice why does that look nicer? Double the Malo Leoness the Lion jersey, the Adidas 23 Adventure is based on the new Adidas Mi License 22 template the kit combines a blue base with colours, other traditional colours of, well, with the clubs of the traditional colours of red and gold I don't like it on this photo, but I'm liking that. I like how vibrant it looks. Uh, but I've got to judge it on this image, so it's a 5, five out of 10. Yeah, 5 out of 10. Um, the red and the blue gradient make it look a little bit retro in that sense, and I don't think it's trying to go for a retro look, is it? Um, but the gold accents are cool, and the colour looks good. Looking at AS Monaco. Monaco introduces a clean design with the club's trademark diagonal on the front, which is enhanced by subtle pinstripes. The sleeves are plain white. I like it. I like how the top of this feeds into there. It's very nice indeed. Um, the white and the red have always worked well. Monaco always tend to go for a very nice, clean home shirt. Sponsor works well. It's a 9 out of 10 for me. Nice and simple white and red. The pinstripe really does work well. No extra things on the white bit. Um, but yeah, very, very nice. Very easy to look at. The away kit, I'm going to give them a 6 out of 10 for this. It's a black and white kit. It's very, very boring. I mean, they haven't tried. They've just gone safe. And I don't like that. I don't like that. Lorient went way above board. Didn't they? And just went, whew, spent all the money. Spent all the money. Where did that come from? Um pushed the boat out quite a bit and got rewarded for it this not so much they've stayed too safe black and white six out of ten eight out of ten i'm gonna rate them eight out of ten um it's very similar to the home kit except instead of white and red you've gone pink and purple and instead of this pinstripe pattern you've got like a hexagonal pattern that goes across i'm a fan i'm a fan i like it I like it. This is one of those where, like, this is for all your normal fans. No one's probably going to buy the away kit. All your female fans might buy the pink and purple kit. I like it a lot. I actually really do like that. That's a 8.5. I'm going to upgrade it. 8.5 out of 10. 8.5 out of 10. Very, very nice. Moving on to Montpellier. It's grim. Absolutely grim. Like, I get it has to use blue and orange. So I'm not going to judge it based on the colours, but the actual the actual pattern itself just screams clueless. They've got too much, like, how can I describe it? Like, the colour comes on too quick. Like, it's almost as if they've gone, right, blue, 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 blue. Right, we're going to add an orange here and a blue there. 
and it screws the colour in. Like this works up here because it's dark blue there, you've got some orange lines and then it comes across the old kit. These are over and done with and then what you're left with is this big space here that just doesn't look like it should be there. It looks like something's been taken out or something's missing. On top of that you've got one, two, three extra sponsors than you should have had. The collar looks a bit uncomfy. The shoulders are strange because this whole bit goes up to there but then the sleeves come out. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10, minus 1, 2, 3, so that's a 4 out of 10. No, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10, minus 3, that's a 2 out of 10. You've done too much. You've tried too hard. It's not nice at all. Their away kit, which has been leaked from a green screen image, we're going to take it. White and red, I like. I like the simplicity of it. I don't like the sponsors again, so I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Minus the three extra sponsors that don't need to be there. Four out of ten. Um, but again, collar looks nice, sleeve look okay. Just can't complain. Third kit. Again, it looks very boring. They haven't really tried too much. White and black. Doesn't really look the best. It's, he could have done a lot better. Five out of ten. <sighs> you know, bog standard. But then minus three because the extra sponsors shouldn't. Even if one of them was on the sh uh, on, on the sleeve, it'd be fine. Um, I give it a two out of ten. Nonce. Here we go. Let's look at the nonce. I think last year I said the same. The actual green and yellow isn't as offensive as I think it's going to be. The green and the white work well with the yellow. I do like it. This in red does not work. There's too much going on. I'm going to give it a six out of ten. You've got a nice looking kit. Probably would have given it a 7 point. No, probably a 7. If this was in either green or white. Um, but it's not. So I'm going to knock it down to a, f I'm gonna knock it down to a 5. It just doesn't look like a kit should... Well, it doesn't look like it should be there. You know what I mean? It's not a nice kit at all. And that's all we've got for nonce. Um, OGC Nice. I'm a fan of this one. I love the red and black stripes. You know, very reminiscent of AC Milan. Simple, easy sponsorship. But this, like, full red to black down here. And then the full red at the bottom to black up there look very nice. And it contrasts two sides of the kit. It's almost like having a having a stripe this way without actually having to have a stripe that way. And I'm going a bit tight to bear with. There we go. I've got a little bit irritable there. My body was fidgeting. Um, so I'm going to give that an 8 out of 10. That's very, very nice indeed. The away kit again. They could have done a little bit more with it. They could have gone with the gold theme. They haven't. They've stuck with a plain white kit. Yes, they've added a few stripes and it does look nice. Again, the uh, the sponsorship isn't too in your face. I mean, it's big, but it's not too in your face. Why has he got McGregor tattooed on him? Who is that? Um, I'm not too sure. But I like it. I'm going to give it a 6.5 out of 10. No, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. At least it's positive then. Uh, Macron, do a little bit better, please. And the third kit, I'm not a fan of that. I mean, it is literally just Nottingham Forest kit from last season, isn't it? Yeah, so it's just Forest kit. They've just reused it. Look, it's very, very similar, that is. Uh, the most garish, garish design using purple and orange. This is too much of a contrast and too much of a reuse of a, of a kit that's already been used. Doesn't have anything to do with OG Nice's colours at all. Not even relevant in the slightest. 4 out of 10 for me. 4 out of 10. Moving on, we have PSG's home kit. I love this. This almost looks like alligator skin or snake skin. Look at the squares. And the way that that will probably sit. Then you've got this nice white and red stripe through the middle. It gets cut off by Qatar Airways, obviously. But then the Nike tick and the... PSG badge in the middle. I'm a big, big fan of this. Gonna give it a. Actually, looking at this photo here, I think it looks stupid. I think it looks like you're holding something on your chest. It looks like you're wearing like a runner's badge. I'm gonna give it an eight. It's six out of ten. Six out of ten. The actual kit looks fire, but the way that they've got it set up just makes it look wrong. Color looks nice. Sleeves look nice. Either way. 
awake it. That is peng. Oh, that is so nice. That's a 9 out of 10 as well for me. Nice grey and black. You've got the Jordan logo instead of the Nike logo. The black PSG logo. The the not so straight line that goes through. It's like almost bleeding at the edges. And then it fades into this gradient of like pixel, not pixelated. But what's the word I'm looking for? Like fuzzed. Um, static. It looks like static electricity almost. It looks kind of cool. It fizzes away. I like it. Um, and then inside the loom, oh, inside the car is a special label. Well, we can't see it, so I'm not going to talk about it. Uh, that gets a 9 out of 10. And the third kit, that's grim. That is so grim. So, so, so grim. That's a 1 out of 10 for me. They've changed the colour of the badge. It doesn't work. Hasn't got a sponsorship. It, it just looks wrong. It looks like an unfinished bit of cloth. That can't be sold, surely. And it's a 1 out of 10, and that gets a 6 out of 10, the 4th kit. Again, another Jordan kit. It's got these laser beams that are shooting off and bouncing off in every direction in gold. The writing's in gold. The badge has been changed to black and gold. I'm a fan of that. That gets an 8 out of 10. I might have already rated it a 9, but I can't I quite remember. Uh, I'm talking too fast. Me, me head's not keeping up with it. But yeah, 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 for that. Then I ignore the goalkeeper. How many of these we got left? Fucking hell. So we have Stad de Rem. I actually use these on FIFA this year. Or the year just gone, shall I say. Um, Hexal. Um, it's an unbroken kit. Red and white. I like it a lot. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. But we're knocking off two points. Two points just because of the extra logos. So 5 out of 10 in total. Or did I say 6? In which case it makes it 4. It's either a 4 or a 5 out of 10. Do your math to yourself, lads. Away kit, I'm giving that a 3 out of 10. That's just a white kit with cream shoulders, which looks stupid. It looks like you've got a scarf around your neck. One, two. You know what? I'm going to class this as a, as a sponsor that doesn't need to be there. It doesn't need to be that big on a sleeve. That's outrageous. That looks massive. Looks as, almost as big as this but on your sleeve. So it's going to get a 3 out of 10. Take away the 3 points. That's a nose out of 10. I'm not a fan at all. And this looks like it could have been good, but isn't. It looks like a bus seat. So I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10 minus 1, 2. Which gets 3 out of 10. And I'm itching all over. Oh, I'm so hot and bothered. It's unreal. Sorry if I've come across agitated in this video. I'm very, very uncomfortable. My back's itching. My whole body's itching. Like, I'm just irritable. But yeah, it looks like a boss seat. 5 out of 10. I'm going to give it a 3 out of 10. Minus the 2. RC Strasbourg. Again, another one of those kits where it could be going right, but it isn't. The blue doesn't even match the badge. Oh, come on. You've got a light blue and a red. Use them. You've got two sponsorships more than you should have. The stripes don't go down the arms. I'm going to give that a 3 out of 10 in total. So just, just, just flat out, it's a 3 out of 10. I'm not going to take any points off for sponsorships, etc. I mean, that sponsorship is massive. That goes from, like, here, like, here, all the way down to, like, your, like down here. That's ridiculously big for a sponsorship. Not a fan at all, not a fan at all. That just gets a 3 out of 10 in total. Oh, that was good. Um, this one, again, it's so strange. Like... You've gone for this white and blue colour theme, yet you've got one, two, three, four different colours of blue on the kit. To go with the white kit is just too much. And then you've gone and thrown a red sponsorship on it. Oh, again, this gets a two out of ten overall. It's just wrong. Like, the the, the, the sleeves aren't even one colour. You've got a shoulder colour and a sleeve colour, which are different because it doesn't have the pinstripe pattern of the torso. Which actually looks kind of nice. I like the pinstrap. That's probably the only point it's getting. That and the fact it's made by Adidas. Jeez. And then a third kit. That's a bit better. It's a bit better. I'm giving that a 4 out of 10 total. You've got a nice gradient pattern. Even though the shoulders don't match the same colour blue. Um, it's getting a 4 out of 10. Either way, it's not great at all. Moving on to lose. That's a nice kit. It's a very 
nice kids, actually. A very nice. Made by Kraft. I've never heard of Kraft. LP Promotions. Change the colour to match the purple that's on the badge, which matches the kit because it's got the light purple and the dark purple. Dark purple colour. Oh, and the purple pinstripes. That's a nice kit. That is an 8.5 out of 10 for me. Very nice indeed. And the away kit. I'm a fan of that, but it's not getting a high grade. I think if it's a lot darker... Oh, actually, it's more of a purple, isn't it? It's more of a purple. I actually prefer it like that. Let's take a look at this. Yeah, it's a purple with green and purple lines. I'm giving it a 7.5 out of 10. I like the gradient colour they've got from the yellow to the pink to the purple from the, uh, the sponsorship and this obvious representation of the city at Toulouse. Um... But yeah, the purple badge on the purple side compared to the yellow logo on the yellow side. I'm a big fan of yellow, red and purple. It features inside the kit as well. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm a big fan. 7.5 out of 10. And that is going to end it there for you guys. Again, apologies if I have come across irritable. I'm hot and sweaty and sticky. My fan's not on. I'm probably just going to strip off after this and just edit the two videos I've recorded now and get them up for the week. But I hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll catch you later. Bye.